Welcome back. This is episode 21 of my building the black pearl and I made just a little bit of progress So let me get right in to show you the things that I accomplished and anything that might be some helpful hints that I learned along the way I missed a step so I will include it now and it's on almost the last page Well, it's the last page other than showing the ship And it's up here in the corner the parts are a 41 42 43 and 49 49 is the small copper nails here's one of them with the copper nails in place it's the back rail that goes on the crow's nests so what i'm going to do so that they don't go all the way through these holes because there's nothing to hold them i'm going to put a little piece of masking tape underneath each of those holes and then glue it in place so this is my test fit you can see i've got the uh, blue painters tape under here so that the nails can't go down any further hopefully with a gentle touch so now I just need to get some adhesive on there to hold them in place on this back one the masking tape really didn't work all that well so I just put them in and then I could push them up so that they're flush on the underneath as I'm beginning the rope work I decided it might be a good time to define at least to you as a viewer if you're a new builder like I am how I'm proceeding and if you would imagine the ship straight on I'm going to work at the center doing the lines that run this way and I don't know maybe you can see some that I've done and then these rat lines on this side then I'll spin the ship around and again do the rat lines on this side and any of the ropes that go up the instructions are visual and I think that makes it multicultural so let me show you what I mean on the blueprint of the rigging lines you can see here it does list out all the different lines but there are parts that are not shown in this drawing so this is where I'm working on one side of the ship but you also need to pay attention because in the next part of the blueprint let me move to the bottom as an example up here and here it shows these parts 42 and that is a rectangular block so you need to be aware of that as you're doing the construction there's little subtle things like that that you need to keep up with there are probably several ways to tie off these dead eyes I don't know but this is one that I looked up online so I've got this temporarily attached here this is that back tag comes off and what I've seen is you go around the two go over the top and come back through that basically gives me a knot and bring that down What that's done is it's pulled it tight around that dead eye and then I've been tucking this back through the little A that it makes underneath that. Push that down tight. Put a dot of super glue on there and now I'm going to Put what I thought was a burgundy but after I put it on the ship it looks more like a brown and this will just give a wrap look to it I take it right down to where that knot hold that in place is and sometimes the super glues stay a little moist in this case it did not so I'm just going to put a little dot on that now I'm taking the short end I'm going to hold it up on the leftover rope and now I'm going to wrap this around and around that little string or the thread the the brownish colored thread and I've been wrapping seven times when you get to seven I disconnect that and I've just been tied this 
I can use this little short piece to pull those down so they're tight and then I've just been putting a single square knot on those two and again another touch of super glue trimming off the the tag that was already part of the dead eyes now these threads as close as I can get them without cutting the knot off this is the leftover from the the line coming down from the mast and that's how I've been doing it for the rat lines I use a clove hitch knot now doing a little bit of research some people just tie square knots all the way across I just kinda like the looks of a clove hitch so I'll show you how I do that and there's different ways for this also the the um, kind of machine that I bought has you go from right to left so I'm used to doing that also just to give you an idea this particular uh, rope system is two inches wide at the bottom and it takes about a seven inch piece of thread to get across there so hopefully that helps you a little bit so I'm going to take these clamping scissors kind of use them as a third hand Now the other option on this first one is you can just tie a square knot there and then put a little adhesive on it to hold it and I just kind of eyeball the space between them so when I get that first one on because I don't have anything to hold this end, I'm going to go ahead and put a little dab of super glue there holding it in place. Once that's done, the rest of these go pretty smoothly. So again, around behind and under. Now around behind and through that opening. I'm gently pulling to the left, squeezing down with the tweezers. And if I do it just right, I like a little bit of a bow in the rope. Now it's up to you how you decide to straighten these. I suppose you could put a straight edge along there. I'm not real picky. So I'm good with that. The two ends I put a little more adhesive. There's not much information in the instructions on this area right here, and there'll be real thin rope that comes from here. We'll go clear up to the top, right. and then it goes down and ties in here. This little wooden piece is not included in the kit. I made that, and what I've done is put a couple little grooves so I can slide the rope and to hold right there and that gives these a little better shape and these ropes will come down and tie in and then go all the way up to the top so let me show you what that looks like here in just a second here it is finished and this is that little cross piece that I put in and that I made from scrap and I did tie those strings around the wooden brace and the roping there and it goes up, goes through this, and you may remember I had mentioned that you need to pre-drill these holes in these cross members. Apparently I forgot to do it on the front one, so I had to drill those through my hand. So just make sure you do all three sets. And then it goes up from there, clear up to 
close to the very top of the masts. I've got some additional rat lines to tie off going up here. And then I'll do the ones across here, going up to here. And multiply that times three on each side of the ship. That concludes episode 21. I'll be back once I get the rat lines completely done on all the masts and some of the duplicate rigging that I'll do throughout the ship. And then we'll get on some of the uh, additional rigging that will have to be done. And as always, thanks for watching.